with time. Uh, mid to towards the end of May we get lots of hawthorn around and this is a good hawthorn fly, certainly in the lochs, uh, though it works just as well in the rivers, uh, it depends on who you fish. But it's a good style, it's got a detached body, a foam, uh, the foam I'm using is a HT high dense foam, this one's from Wopsy. I just slice a piece off using a good sharp knife, uh, you got a nice square and you're looking 3 mil or so wide, what I look, what I do is just cut a slice, cut a slice off, using a nice long pair of scissors. You can give it a wee stretch, just a tiny bit of stretch, and then normally what I would do is just melt the end just to seal it, just lightly. Watch, and you can rub out your fingers just to take it in a wee bit. And then, obviously, we put on a needle and form the body. But the fly itself, quite simple. Now you can use other materials for the for the body, thread, chenille, even wool, or you can leave it out. It's entirely up to yourself. Just tie in the legs. Just come further slightly around the bend a wee bit, or to line with the bar, but just slightly by. Now, as I say, it's quite really it's quite simple to tie. First thing we're going to do is form the body. Now I'm using a fine needle. Place it in your vise. As I say, just melt the end. All I do then is I just off it, put the tip of the foam into the needle, which you can see like that. Get your black thread. In this case, I'm just using a, a uni thread. Uh, it own black. Now. You need a waste piece, a good piece, so you just bring it in at the back here, on top of the the foam. You come round, just to the first segment, and you tighten up with three turns, and then you come underneath the foam, keeping a hold of the waste piece, and then you work your way up to three underneath again, and then as you go up, make the segment segments slightly bigger, so you get a taper couple of turns there and then one, two, three. Now about five segments is enough for the body. One, two, three, and then keep it tight, don't let it go. And you want it quite finish. One, two, three. And there and that's where waste piece a thread and we're tying thread now we cut them with the same length. And we slide it off the needle. And what I like to do is then roll it, just roll the body in my fingers. And what that does, it folds around and you can see it tightens it up. But you, the two, the, three, the threads that you tied form the, the, help form the body. Just tighten them up, just pull them slightly. And we're going to tie in this area here, tie this point. And then remove the needle. Now the hook I'm going to use is the Camasan, it's a B160 and it's a size 12. Basically it's a shank of a size 14 but a gape of a size 12 which is ideal for be this type of bushy or deer hair type fly or even the mergers which I like to use. It's a great all round type hook, good to use. Thread them back to the uni thread AO in black. Just put a layer of thread from the eye to the point, to this point here and then remove the base piece. Now I'm going to tie in my body. So I'm going to tie in at the area where I tied off and tie in the waist and the tying thread. Basically just to make sure it's secure. Now what I like to do is come underneath with the thread right round so I'm locking it in and it will not move. It should pull out. And I'll trim away the waist. Thread and the foam. And then tighten up. Ready for our legs. And there's our body. Now, see, you could use other bodies for your, for the fly. If you don't like the foam, you can leave it out. You can put even put a black or a red tail, which is I've used before, uh, which is a good aiming point. You could use uh, suede chenille, wool. It's up to yourself, as I say. Now, for the legs, these are pre knotted legs, uh, dyed black, pheasant tail legs. Now, I'm going to take four, just pull them out, 
from the, the stem, just lines up the ends, tail them away. Now, what I like to do is pull them through my fingers, tightening up the, the small knots. And looking at the way they're sitting, just want them to sit either side of the body and slightly longer than the body. Just hold them, come around with a couple of, say, just do a couple of loose turns with using the weight of the bobbin holder to keep the thread turns and have a look. Now that's fine for me, I'm happy with that, so then I'll tighten up. Again, remove the waist. Just going to put a wee bit of wax on my thread here just to keep the thread turns nice and tight. And then for the underwing, I've got some pearl crystal flash, two strands. I'm going to line up the ends here. Now I want two either side of the the body and the full length of the body. This will give the wing and these flies are quite can be quite shiny when the, the sun hits them, so the fish do see it. Again, fold as you see. So it's all one piece, trim away, full length of the body. I just moisten it and then set it down for the next fly. Then what I'm going to use, this, the actual sedge part of the fly is made up of deer hair. So just to give again the impression with the wing, I'm going to use some white deer hair. Just pull out some fibre, this is just a natural white. Don't need a lot. Now the Twist your fingers, open out these cut ends, and remove any broken or under fur. Oh. And then when you stack it, tips first. Then the stack it, tap on your desk. And then when you look to see how the, the ends have lined up, that's fine. One of these quite short, there's a couple of broken ends in here somewhere. You could leave them. Or you can let me take them out. There's a broken end there, so I'm just going to take it away. You can actually pick them out quite easy. Now you want this shorter than the body. You hold it. Trim away the waist. A wee bit of wax on my thread to give me that bit more grip. So pinch and loop. These cut ends nice and tight. And there we are. Get some Dubbin. Now the Dubbin blend here is Seals Fur and SLF. You can use what you like. Slightly onto your thread. Slide it up. And then you want it reasonably loose. Don't worry about it slipping a wee bit, but you can use and draw back uh, end the loose of the Seals Fur. Which will, as you can see, tidy up that end, that area. Now we're going on to black, dyed black deer here. Same deer here, it's just dyed black. And cut it. See when you're removing it from the actual skin, cut it right at the skin itself. Don't cut it halfway up. And then we stack it. And the reason you don't cut it halfway up is because when you go back for some more, it's those half cuts are going to get in the way. Tap on your desk again, ends are lined up. There we are, slightly tapering, not too long. Get the length you want, draw away the waist, and then pinch and loop nice and tight. Make sure it's tied in, keeping the, the deer hair on top. Coming back to a Dubbing. So you're not too tight with it, so you slide it up. If you want it like hairy, you do just loosely, then use your fingers and draw it back, but basically you put tons of thread through that. You can see how it's staying quite like puffed out, uh, leggy like, and using your fingers like a fine velcro to draw it back and then the thread in front. That looks okay. Now, 
tiny bit more. Just one a wee bit closer to the eye. You can tie in, you can get leave a bit more room if you want, if you want to muddle her head. If you feel you haven't got enough hair you can bring in some velcro and make a space, bring some of the dubbing down either side. Stroking it back with your fingers. And then you go back to the dyed black deer here. Trim it away from the skin. Take away the underfur. Again, tips into the stacker. And tap it on your desk. It's all lined up again into your fingertips. There's my length. This time we're going to keep it long, we're not going to trim it. What we're going to do is come in, go one, two, three, four, really tight. Now grab some of the deer hair fibres, the cut ends, bring the thread through, tying these in. Now this makes for a much tighter head. Get to the front and then always keeping the thread nice and tight. Just form a nice head. Always keeping the thread tight, if you straighten the wet finish. Don't trim away your deer hair until you've finished off. It's much easier to draw it back. And then you just have to lift these cut ends out away from the wing. Just cut at a slight angle. Don't have to be too fussy with that. Let's see if there's any ends you've missed. Like there's one there, you can break it off. And then I just draw these back. Just much like you would do with an elk here, Cadis. And there we go. And that's your kind of a sedge hog, which is this part, and obviously, and then the detached body. Uh, which is a good pattern, it's a good all round type fly. Uh, will represent a few types of fly. You know, if you put a say red at the back or hot orange deer hair and a bit of so on seals fly, you'll get a good heather fly. Then what I do is finishing it off with a good coat of varnish, just dab it onto the head area and even the eye. You will fill the eye up, but you can come back in. Just using a piece of wire here, just to clean it out. And there we are. And that's the sedge hog, or hawthorn hog, however you want to call it. Uh, nice pattern. You see, you can change the colour combination. You can have like an orange bodied version, natural deer hair. And then you can have the tan coloured one. Now, these are all these flies, this is the actual size of the hawthorn. These ones are slightly shorter than what you would probably, like this one here especially, if it was a crane fly or a daddy long legs as we call it, it's actually a shorter, a tighter fly. They're tied within the rules of an international, home international competition. So the, basically, if you look at that, this one's tied the same. It's within the measure, 15 sixteenths. The hook size should fit within this, this area here, which it does. But the full length of the fly, should fit within that 15 16 of an inch. So this is the sort of three patterns I'm tying at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed that. Bit of fun. As I say you don't need the if you don't like foam, don't use it. Use something else. Uh, this fly I would fish as you can fish it as itself or you can fish it with a team of other flies. Uh, depending on the style that you're fishing. Uh, so anyway that's your Hawthorne hog. <laughs>